Hey everybody, it's DJ Boom over here at the Hip Hop Shop. Did you know that the National Hip Hop Museum has its own retail store and event space called the Hip Hop Shop? That's right, I'm broadcasting from it. Right here in Washington, D.C., 7 p.m. Wednesday night. This is amazing. Happy December and happy holidays to everybody. Today is all about MF Doom and the Boondocks, a.k.a. Doomdocks. That's right. There is no greater combination. I mean, maybe peanut butter and jelly, okay? But other than peanut butter and jelly, MF Doom and the Boondocks are the greatest combination ever made, okay? We're gonna show you all sorts of amazing, amazing products that are available, uh, not only through our shop, but through here, uh, the network app. You can also go to nationalhiphopshop.com and check out all of these amazing items. Look at this. This is an MF Doom train. It's got lights and sound and it pulls back and it goes. I can't show you because if I unwrap it, it loses its value, but you can play with it. That's right, shout out to Deaf Projects who has put out these amazing little miniature graffiti trains. Amazing. Okay, now I'm just teasing you. It's designed on both sides as well. It's, it's got designs on both sides. It's got design on both sides. It's not one side. That's amazing. Now, I'm just teasing you. This is the uh, appetizer right here. Okay, these are the appetizers. I know you're thinking, oh my God, if this is the, if a mad villain custom Funko Pop is the appetizer, what's the entree going to be? I mean, I, I'm in agreement with you. This is kind of amazing. You're not going to find this anywhere else except the hip hop shop, nationalhiphopshop.com, MF Doom, Mad Villain, Custom Funko. And of course, you got epoxy children. Everybody knows and loves epoxy children. And these are dope coming out of one of the dopest artists in Asia. Epoxy children. Look at that dope little Doom figure. Okay, and the nice design package with MF Doom on the MPC. Okay, am I getting? Oh yeah, I'm working my way up. Okay, so there you go. Those were the appetizers. And now let's get to like salad, right? This isn't the entree, it's like salad. Look at that. We are revealing MF Doom and Riley from the Boondocks come together and make Doomdocks. These amazing shirts are incredibly uh, thick and well made. You got the double stitched collar. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Shoulder line thing. Okay, meaning like it's good quality. Okay, not a single stitch, double stitch there. Okay, and these shirts have just been absolutely flying out of our shop. So we only have a limited amount of these shirts left. It's obviously holding the absolutely amazing um, uh, Nike MF Doom that everybody is familiar with. Okay, and now let's keep going. Let's keep going. Because if you like that, maybe you got a denim jacket Maybe you got a vintage military jacket. Well, this iron-on patch would be perfect. And it's inexpensive. And it's a great stocking stuffer. Okay, look at that. MF Doom times Riley. Give it to a friend. Give it to your brother. Put it under the tree or your Hanukkah bush. Either way, someone's going to be happy if they get this. And then maybe you could couple it with the holographic stickers. Look at that. That is so dope. Okay, you can't go wrong. These things are quite inexpensive, but what's amazing is that they're all designed by Ab Till, who's an amazing um, artist and tattoo artist out of the UK, and he, des he designed this, okay? So this is exactly how he designed it, embodied in stickers and patches and even I wouldn't say action figure, but I also might not say statue. I might say 
action statue. That's right. I just invented action statues. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Look at this. This is really, like, really well made. Okay, shout out to, oh, God, Play It 3D. Okay, Play It 3D, who made our Doom docks. And look, it comes on its own little dock, docking bay. Okay, and it's fuzzy. Like, it's nice. It's, like, well made, hand-painted, 3D printed. These are amazing, amazing collector's items and art pieces. And remember, these things come from the National Hip Hop Museum. So each one comes with, you know, like a sticker and uh, a, an authenticity of some sort that we will figure out going forward. Because when you get anything from the National Hip Hop Museum, you're getting a piece of hip hop history that you can either enjoy now or you can collect for years to come and know that it will accrue in value. These things all go up in value like sneakers do. It's really bonkers, okay? Um, and I, I just say that in a great way because like, you know, isn't it great? As kids, we didn't have any hip hop toys, <laughs> like literally zero hip hop toys uh, because, you know, uh, MC Hammer's doll didn't count. But now we have all of these amazing, amazing art pieces. And uh, I'm going to ask our retail director, Erica, if you can push the camera as far forward as it can possibly go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. Okay. Now, here's what we've got. Now, this is the artist series. This is the entree. We're here, guys. Okay. Uh, this series is made by a woman in New York, artist in New York, who goes by knife. Okay. Uh, like a knife in your drawer. But if you know and find out her real name, you'll understand why that acronym is so incredibly cool. And each one of these uh, statues, art statues that she's made, comes with its own custom box that she hand painted and made in 3D. Like, can you see? Like, it literally is like, you know, like got dimension to it. Okay. It's one of one, right? This, each one, of, thank you. Each one is one of one. There's only one of each one made. This one is the Operation Doomsday Edition. And I just want to show you how many amazing details this has. Look at this. The guy has headphones, with, and the headphones are plugged into his little CD disc man. And of course, his CD disc man has got CDs that are coming to us from Tower Records. Oh my God. And what is that? A, oh my God, a receipt from Tower Records? That is so amazing. And then, of course, well, you got to have CDs to play, you know, and he's got these actual CDs, uh, you know, Doomsday and Special Herbs and Mad Villainy and. Look at that, each one, oh my God, like literally has a little disc inside of each one. <laughs> I mean, the attention to detail is amazing. This is his mask, right? Because he's either Riley or he's MF Doom, right? He's got Operation Doomsday, he's got the uh, <laughs> grenades and the bomb and the missile. I mean, look at that craftsmanship. Okay, this is just really beautiful stuff, you guys. I really, really can't say enough about this artist who, look, even made his own, like, look, oh my God. Oh my God, is this, yeah. Oh, look, oh wait, where's this plugged into? Oh, here we go. Okay, hold on. Uh, look, it's his own little Marshall stack, his own little amp with a little, look, it's got a plug. Oh my God, and, and the plug, like, actually plugs in here in the back and then that goes like this oh you guys i'm trying to tell you this is as cool as an art piece comes okay and this is the doom docs one of one operation doomsday art piece by knife she's an amazing amazing artist out of new york city and she made three Okay, and you can only get them here. They're all one of ones. Of course, she made three different themes. Okay, you got the purple box, and you got the green box. And the green box theme is Danger Doom. Okay, now Operation Doomsday was uh, his uh, first 
album, yes, his first album, okay? And then, uh, you know, a few albums later, many albums later, uh, you had uh, Danger Doom, which was with Danger Mouse. And that's right, she's even made his own little mouse. Oh my God, look at that. How cute is this? Oh my God. Oh, look at how amazing this is. So there's Danger Mouse. Okay, and there's so many hidden little Easter eggs on these um, on these art on these art pieces. Okay, and I can't even show you all of the different ones. Look at this. He's got look at that the little bones, right? Danger Doom because like the mouse had like the the skull in here. You can see it better on his base. Look at the base, right? So the base. Oh my God, has the little bones, and you also get the bones. You know what I mean? And, and the bone actually can go in his hand. So look at that. Look, I'm gonna put the bone in his hand and now he's holding one of the bones. Oh my God, but he's also got his own mic. Look at this, the mic comes out, guys. The mic comes out and not only does it come out, but it's also plugged in. Look at this. It's actually plugged into the back of the amp. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Look at the detail, it actually comes out. Can you see that it actually comes out? There's like a little magnetic, look, a little magnetic turntable on top of this. Oh my God, look at this, it's Bluetooth, little speaker turntable thing that plugs in from the pack to his microphone. Oh my God, it's so amazing, it's so amazing. Look, and then you put them back. Oops, his arm fell off. But hey, oh, it's a good opportunity to show you. Look, these are all magnetic, okay? Each one of these pieces that she's made literally disassembles, like purposefully. Do you know what I mean? And it's all, uh, she's made it like so that it all comes apart. How cool is that? Uh, in, in all magnetic, like look, even his little legs. I just have to show you the detail in his legs. Oh my God, look at the detail. Look at his laces. Look at his legs. Look at these little sneakers, his little Nikes. Look at the paint job. I mean, you guys, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know why we're selling these. These should probably be in like our permanent collection in the museum. But the reason we're selling them is because one, the revenue goes to support, okay, our mission, which is to uh, archive and preserve hip hop and all of our revenue goes towards grand induction ceremonies. But also most importantly, it goes towards these artists, these amazing artisans who have crafted these amazing pieces. She was, we commissioned her and obviously paid her, right? To make this amazing piece. Look at that. Even Danger Mouse comes with his own little mask too. And each one comes with a comic book. Okay, I'm not gonna open it because I'm scared I won't get that back on, but each one comes, like, dude, the amount of time, effort, and materials that goes into each one of these is really amazing. Can I just quickly show you his hood even has a little danger mouse thing on the back of the hood. I'm trying to tell you, this, this artist's attention to details, absolutely astounding, and I love it. I love it, I love it. And let me tell you right now, if none of you guys are keen enough to hop on this and put these in your collection, totally fine. These are gonna sit in the museum's permanent collection forever. Of course, you can't have the Doom Docs and MF Doom without the mm Food Edition. That's right, you had Operation Doomsday, and then you had Danger Doom, and now you have mmm food. And let me tell you, the mmm food edition is so cool because you got the Cheddar Bay Biscuits and that goes right on top of his little speaker. Look at that, oh my goodness, okay? And look at that, that's magnetic like that. And then look, it plugs in. He's also got like his own little amp with an on off switch, that's so cute. Oh my God, man. Look at that, mm, food being, in my opinion, you know, uh, his greatest album? What's your opinion, do you think? What's your, uh, we raise it up a little. What's your, what's your opinion? Do you think that mm, food was his greatest album? 
Um, I happen to think it was, but maybe you have your own opinion. Look at this. He's got his own gold chain. Okay, he's got his own gold chain. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. See his head. He's got, look, he's wearing the 33 Ewing jersey. Oh, my God. He's got the mic in his hand. Look at the, look at the sneakers, man. Oh, man. Hold on, let me detach this. Look at his sneakers. Look at the little laces, yo. That's so dope. Oh, my God. How does she do this? The little camo shorts. Oh, my God. And then, of course, you know, I got to do the reveal. Hold on. Let me sit him down so I don't hurt him. What? You know it's Riley. Oh, man. Look at that, though. But, you, man. And all of these guys have masks. Okay? Just so you know, if we're going back to this guy. Okay? Danger Doom's mask is gold. Ah, look at me. Nope. I'm MF Doom. Nope. I'm Riley. Right? And then his mask is silver okay i didn't even show you guys so each one of them has their own mask and you can choose to display them with the mask or without the mask um i am going to show you this because i know this one's okay each one comes with its own little comic book look at that that's so amazing title doom docs and then signed oh here's your letter of authenticity with a thumbprint from the actual artist Okay, so earlier in the program when I said, hey, we'll figure out a letter of authenticity, it's in the little comic book, okay? And that's so amazing that she printed out custom comics for each one. That's so amazing. So cool, so cool, so cool. This one, we didn't want to open up all of the accessories, okay? But it comes with mm, food, you know, a uh, spoon and uh, picnic tablecloth and a whole lot of stickers, okay? So definitely, uh, oh wow, that's so beautiful. Look at that sticker, holy cow. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> These things are so amazing. Comment in the, in the bottom right now, which one do you think is the coolest of all three? Okay, which one did you think was the dopest? Did you think it was the mm, food, the danger doom, or the Operation Doomsday. Please comment at the bottom. Let us know which one you like the best, okay? But I really enjoy doing these types of uh, shows for you guys because sometimes we have really cool products, right? And I like to show you guys dope stuff that you know doesn't exist elsewhere. But the times I get to show you these amazing artisans, that's when I feel really happy because these are human beings who made this with their hands, crafted, one of one art piece and when they're super super famous you know your two three four hundred dollar art piece is going to be worth two three four thousand dollars sitting on your shelf for yourself you know five ten twenty years from now or your children or your grandchildren and that's what's so dope about hip-hop right it's america's number one export it's it's our culture it's it's, it's, it's all we got man we got like hamburgers and hip hop here in America. So like support, support small uh, businesses, support small artisans like um, Knife, who made these amazing, amazing uh, art pieces, but then also support the world's first hip hop museum, the National Hip Hop Museum, okay? So that's nationalhiphopshop.com. Until our next show, I'm DJ Boom. Peace, I'm out of here.